keep your face covered if you're out in public. That executive order from Governor de Lamont designed to help slow the potential spread of COVID-19 goes into effect at 8 o'clock tonight, just under three hours from now. You'll notice our reporters will now be wearing them in the field as they bring you the stories they're covering across Connecticut. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live now in the Elm City to tell us more. Matt? Well, Dennis, here in New Haven, they had a head start. Since Friday morning, anyone stepping inside a real kill business here in the Elm City needed to have their nose and mouth covered. And as you said, starting tonight, it's going statewide. Out walking her dog Grace on the New Haven Green, Sherry McNeil can safely socially distance herself from others. But even with plenty of room, she's covering her face six feet or not. I don't mind if we're going into public places. It seems like a reasonable thing to do. Governor Ned Lamont's executive order requiring face masks in public when social distancing is not possible goes into effect tonight. The idea is the mask can help reduce the potential spread of the virus from those who might have it but aren't showing symptoms. And you don't need anything fancy to cover your face. In fact, the governor is asking everyone to leave the surgical and medical masks to the health care professionals and first responders. Cloth masks work, along with making a face cover from items you have around the house, like a scarf, bandana, or towel. It's fine. Wrapped around a couple of times, put it with your hair. You know, and it works. Under the statewide order, employers would be required to provide masks or covering for their workers. Customers will have to wear their own as well. The same goes for anyone using a taxi, a ride share, or public transportation. Here in New Haven, masks have been required in the Elm City retail businesses since Friday morning. Well, I think everybody's doing it right now. They're following orders. A few are not following orders. In fact, Lindsay Smith says he saw one man even get turned away at a downtown grocery store for not having a mask on. I went down to the city market, same thing. The security standing right there. You know how one on, you're not going shopping. That's a good idea. And while folks are adapting to the new normal, they're focused on the future. And if wearing a mask can help get there, it's a step they're willing to take. It's very sad to see that a lot of the businesses are suffering and closed. And, you know, I hope we can recover. Um, and I hope soon. Now, while this might be new for many of us, for some folks, they've been wearing masks before this pandemic. You're going to hear from them tonight coming up at 6. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.